more than aware of Mark Williams's record in the game. One of those players you would have grown up watching and admiring. And Williams still plays a sort of young man's game. He's still got that attitude he's always had, really. Sort of nonchalance. It's also, at the same time, strangely, a real toughness. Really thin. Needs his cue ball to hold up. Just about done. What a th <laughs> thin pot on the initial red. So Williams just upped his game. I suppose he felt he had to. Here's the red again. I mean, look at how thin this is. No idea where the white would finish, but it finished on the green. Five. Thirteen. <laughs> well, another inventive way of getting into them. Hang on, a red's Fifteen. gone in. So it's double bubble there. Quite unusual to split the reds off a red. But Mark Williams plays the game his own way and he always has done and that's one of his great strengths I think. Twenty two. But he's really got on the front foot. After Sean O'Sullivan made that really good clearance to lead two one, Mark Williams is just almost like flicked a switch. Now he's looking really dangerous. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Well, he's left the cue ball rather close to this side cushion. This is, uh, he's not got a lot of angle on the black, that's the other thing, so. can leave the cue ball. Got to pop the black as well, of course. Uh, it's about as good as he could have done. He's potted it. He does have a chance at the next red. 34. Oh, 
Tonight. Well, it hasn't come as far as you would like for the Reds to left corner here, so he's taking this one onto the green pocket. Another little test of queuing this. And this time it stays out. Well, for a frame and a half, he was kind of like a man possessed, wasn't he? But he has finally broken down. Played this at a cross double safety. Well, yeah. at first he was devastated by the result. It's he has left a red potentially. Mark Williams needs the rest. It could have been easier. So out of his hands. This was why he just caught the other red playing the safety. But walking away, it's not quite as bad as it could have been. A lot resting on this next shot. Which Mark Williams has duly knocked in. Thank you. So already <coughs> in front, this is a definite chance for a three two lead. He's forty in front with that red. Not that much more to do really. Blackish frame ball and Mark Williams weathered a little storm. Twenty one. 
Two one down, but he's been on the front foot since. Twenty two. Good eighty eight. Got in front in this frame and has now surely won it to be a frame from victory. It's been an entertaining match once again here on table one. Williams needs one more frame. Sean O'Sullivan needs the last two. And O'Sullivan's not done much wrong. Just played one poor safety there to twenty seven. Hand the chance to Williams, but still it was a good pop with the arrest. Twenty eight. Sean kind of going bananas in the background there, literally. Bit of energy. Forty-three. Karen Wilson's made a century to lead Dean Young 2-1. Forty-four. Three-three now, Joe Long and Julian Leclerc, and it's 3-0 Elliot Slesser against Tamanshu Jane. We're seeing here what a terrific match player Mark Williams still is. Forty. <laughs> well, that went in. He was playing the, the little under the body shot he plays. Couldn't quite see what was going on, but he knocked it in. <laughs> 46. Fifty one. I went with fifty one. So fifty one from Mark Williams and from two one down he has gone to within a frame of the second round of the WST Classic. He leads Sean O'Sullivan by three frames to two. Yeah, he, he's played really well from two one seen that O'Sullivan poses a threat and he's answered that call and Mark Williams won away and we're, we're about half an hour away ourselves from Judd Trump against David Lilly. Judd Trump of course he won so many tournaments when we are in lockdown in Milton Keynes. No audience here, and I'm not saying that makes any difference one way or the other but sort of almost going back to that feeling and then six o'clock Ronnie O'Sullivan plays Mohammed Ibrahim, he's from Egypt so there'll be plenty of interest of course in Sullivan, the seven-time world champion, who in just a month's time will be starting the defence of his title at the Crucible. Been uh, some heavy scoring. We've had 19 centuries in the tournament. In uh, day and a bit. In fact, Karen Wilson, as I say, has just made his second of the match there. He made 105. In fact, sorry, yeah, he's made... I'll get this right in a minute. He's made two in the match. 16. To lead 2-1. So there have been 19 centuries, but that's <laughs> pretty impressive going on table two. Elliot Slesser not far from victory against Tim Anshu Jane. And 3-3 uh, Joey Long, Julian Leclerc. But uh, the matches are progressing at pretty decent speed. First round continues tomorrow. We've still got uh, some big names still to enter the fray. Ali Carter, who's won the German Masters this season. He's up against Deshawat Pumjang. He entertained people here in Leicester, of course, at the shootout weeks ago. Ding Jinwei plays Shusa of China. Chris Wakelin, he won the shootout ultimately, he plays the 12 times women's world champion, Rian Evans. Sean Murphy's up against Oliver Brown. John Higgins tomorrow plays Michael White. And Mark Selby, of course, proud Leicester man. He's up against Robbie McGuigan. He's a re late replacement for Fraser Patrick, who's withdrawn. And then first round finishes on Sunday morning. And uh, amongst the matches there, Robert Milkins, the Welsh Open champion this season against Mink Nutcherat, who won the Women's World Championship last year. So a lot of interesting contests still to come. Now, we, I think we can look at a few uh, shots from this match between Mark Williams and Sean O'Sullivan. This was an incredible pot. Ha bear in mind, you can see perfectly from that angle just how thin that is. And it went in the middle of the pocket, didn't touch the sides. No idea where the white would finish, but just showing that He's now really prepared Mark Williams to go for them. This was a lovely shot. It's quite unusual to split the reds off a red, but he saw the chance. Another one went in. 
And then this was an attempt to keep the break going. He hadn't landed on the red, he wanted to. Took this one on, didn't pot it. And this was the shot. <laughs> Only Mark Williams plays it like that. But that was sort of rubbing it in by then. The frame was well and truly won. He made 51. He leads 3-2 as we get frame six underway. And he wasn't happy with the break off, but he's been a little fortunate to cover the red. He just taps the table, covered it with the green. Yes, he's getting comfortable on this. He's half the battle. Yeah, just wanted to avoid the yellow. It's okay, but he liked, I guess, the white on the on the cushion. But it's all right. though has played a very good return safety he's cut off pretty much every red here <laughs> the spot he's found there for the cue ball the only slight danger here for Sean O'Sullivan there are reds that have come into play trying to skim off them quite often first time out you'll see play and miss all together because they're being cautious yeah. but uh, the thing here is not to overcompensate, hit them too thick and then leave Mark Williams in amongst them. Yeah. Well, he's hit them well this time. Okay, he's caught the blue, but it was a pretty good shot, that. He's got out of danger with the cue ball. Yeah, a little tap on the table from Mark Williams tells you it was nicely played. Just made a very slight adjustment. That was all that was needed. But as I say, sometimes you see players over-adjust and then you know, they've uh, landed themselves in trouble. Elliot Slesser has won 4 0. Peter Himanshi Jain of India. And he'll 
play Hayden Pinay, of course, who beat uh, Luca Brasil very impressively, very impressively earlier. Another very good save deep on Williams, he's found the ball cushion and there's more danger here for O'Sullivan. Just allowing <coughs> Zachary Leo Scullion to check the line here. Yeah, just caught it a bit thick and he has left a red on, albeit black's tied up, the pink's not great, so Williams may not be interested if there's no sort of positional value in taking it on, and indeed he's playing safe. Williams is just looking dangerous at the moment because he's taking him his shots on. Didn't get that one, but it's the danger for O'Sullivan. He's going to knock one of these in. Well, he's gone for broke, but he's not got it, so a bit of concern for O'Sullivan. It's still a rather scrappy table, difficult table, but he has left this initial red for Williams. Just went for it here, but didn't get it.
extraordinary noise from backstage there. I don't know what that was. Maybe from another table. Sounds like a match coming to an end. Or someone winning a frame. Maybe Zhou Long against uh, Julian Leclerc. Not sure, but anyway, put Mark off. <laughs> but not for long. Six. Yeah, Joey Long has beaten Julian Leclerc four three. He was three one down, so you can hear <laughs> you can hear for yourselves that he's happy about that. And he's into round two. Runner up to Mark Allen in the all in all open. Yeah, that was Mark <laughs> Williams just getting up and wondering what was going on. Not, not a lot phases Mark as we know. Seven. Joey Long can still get in the tour championship. He needs to win the tournament, so it's again it's a tall order. That's what Mark Williams needs to do also. But still with a chance. If you're wondering about the prize money, it's eighty thousand to the winner. For winning this match, you're guaranteed three thousand. And it sort of goes up incrementally, but uh, the eighty thousand winner's prize would propel somebody Eleven. potentially into that tour championship. But some players though, even with that, John Higgins for example, still couldn't make it in. Well, it's glad we're an indoor sport. You can hear the rain lashing down outside. Eighty. This is actually a new part of the morning side arena. It wasn't here a year ago. A lot of work went on in the summer to build a kind of extension to the whole building, which is obviously created more space and opportunity for more events. Because uh, primarily it's a, a basketball venue. 23. In the, in the other hall. Glad to see we've got a sturdy roof on the place. 24. Yeah, Joe's actually won that with a century, so it's a great finish from him against Julian Leclerc. Disappointment for him. Well, this rain. <laughs> it's like tropical, isn't it? Mark, Mark's actually stopped because of it. Special sound effects. Great. Not a day to be wandering around the streets of Leicester, I don't think. Twenty nine. Well, despite the weather, we continue on the break here. So there was a World Championship in the 70s. It's a story that's often rolled out. 1973 Manchester there was a hole in the roof, so when it rained, it, it, it did stop play. Thankfully, this morning side of Reading is uh, a more modern building. Up to five. Of course, it's a new event, this, so we don't actually have a reigning champion. Now, a bit, bit of work to be done here. There's still red slightly developing. He's building a nice lead. Forty-one. Forty-two. Red. Twice, but it's dropped. Yeah, it sort of wobbled a bit, but went in. This rain is unbelievable. <laughs> William still going, looking to develop this red. Come off, 
Lindsay would have liked. Still plenty on here. There's five to seven. Still seven reds on. 51 is his lead. Useful lead with some safe reds in the black side up, but not yet over the line in the match. We have to wait for another chance. Mark Rowe is 47. <laughs> it is loud, isn't it, Mark? Well, that's a shot that's opened things up, but he needs to not leave a red on. It's OK, I think. Got the black into play, got reds into play. It's a good shot, that, because he, it's in his interest, of course, 51 behind to get balls into play. Key thing was not to leave one on. He's not done that. The irony of all that with the weather is that Sean O'Sullivan's nickname is The Storm. So maybe it could be an omen that better things, better things are around the corner for him in this match. Williams determined to force the error from Sean O'Sullivan, who has got to be careful here. He's 51 behind. Williams needing probably one more chance to win the match. And of course, O'Sullivan will be well aware. I've mean, watched Mark Williams all these years. What a great long potter he is. So, he's got to be really good with the safety, really accurate with it. Again, letting Leo Skillin have a look. He's saying to Sean O'Sullivan, do you want to have a look as well? And what he can see, okay, yeah. so everyone's happy. Brilliant. That is absolutely Point. brilliant. Swerving here. So, can Mark Williams now wrap this up? He's 52 in front. Got pink to middle and Red's waiting.
Our war room seven. Not over yet then, it's bits and pieces stuff edging towards the winning line, not yet across it. Oh, that's a Wait. terrific red from Sean O'Sullivan. So, after all that, a chance comes his way. So there's one red on the left-hand side cushion, which may determine this frame. 16. As the rain continues to lash down outside. the angle to 17. bring it out and decided to take the chance of that red so now this is looking a good chance to force a decider and you have to say he was heavy second favorite with the the lead mark williams was building the, the balls he was potting Big chance this to extend the match to a deciding frame finish. Well, you heard the. Well, hopefully, he's all right. Thirty. Injury along the way. is a bit of a tester this red oh it's just dropped wow well that was one. Sean O'Sullivan basically out the tournament if that hadn't dropped because it was, would have been on the lip of the pocket but at the very last moment it went in he wasn't sure until it dropped relief still want to deal with this last red though Well, that black wasn't clean and he's left himself over the blue so this is much Forty tougher five. than it really should have been black wriggles in here you just watch this it's not clean and, uh, Hence position is not great, he needs the spider, so this is not not pleasant now. Thirteen points in it. So Mark Williams would need yellow, green and brown. Sean O'Sullivan of course needs them all.
Oh, he's played it well. 47. He's had some testing shots along the way here, but he's kept going. So, up to including the pink, he's seven in front with seven on. He does need all the colours here to force a decider. 50. Mark Williams looked to be in control of this frame. He had a good lead, couldn't put it away. John O'Sullivan has stepped in. He's just slightly wrong side of the blue, so 59. a little further away from the pink than he would have liked. But if he pots it, Williams could only tie the frame. Another big shot in what's been an afternoon full of them for Sean O'Sullivan. Very nicely 65. done. Black for 3-3 three, three, and we're heading into a decider. Very cool three. clearance. He went wrong on the yellow, needed the spider, but kept going. And Mark Williams knows that he has to come back for one more frame. But that was uh, a really excellent clearance of 72 from Sean O'Sullivan 3-3 three, three. just to say Corin Wilson is 3-1 uh, up against Dean Young and a couple of matches just starting Jackson Page against Anton Kazakov the winner of that plays the winner, winner of this one of course Page and Williams great pals and Wu Yizza, Ashley Hugel also about to start and uh, of course it means that Judd Trump and David Lilly are not quite going to start on time it'll be 15 minutes after the conclusion of this match between Mark Williams and Sean O'Sullivan. Very interesting match. He's been high quality. Sean O'Sullivan has been very impressive. He's made a couple of good clearances, not least that one there, 72. And it just shows you how hard the game is because if he loses this decider, he gets no prize money, he gets no ranking points. But he's played really well. Just shows you the level that the World Snooker Tour is at. But of course, he's not lost yet. If he won, then that could really be the start of... Uh, great sort of final lap of the season for him Williams is very cool he's got a great record actually in deciders we, we will see what what happens he looked at a pretty big certainty to win 4-2 so just to reiterate Judd Trump David Lilly will start 15 minutes after this match and then Ronnie O'Sullivan against Mohamed Ibrahim is the last match of the day scheduled for six o'clock we'll see whether that Starts then or not depends, I guess, on a how long this decider is, and then the length of the Trump match. Leo Scullion has set the balls up, just waiting for Mark and Sean to return for one more frame. We've seen a few four nils on this table, but this now is anyone's. Let's hope the venue's not flooded. Oh, there they come. I was worried they might have been washed away for a minute. Mark's back anyway. I think we can uh, just look at a couple of shots while we wait for Sean O'Sullivan. Not the most comfortable way of playing this. <laughs> thing with these, you just got to try and be steady. That was Mark Williams uh, listening to the rain, really lashing down. Yeah, and it was loud. Anyway, we're ready. <laughs> we're ready for the decider. 
3-3, Sean O'Sullivan made a great 72 clearance to force it. 3-3 three, three it is, and it's all on this frame. Been a day where we've had a few upsets. Ryan Day out, Luke Brussell out. Is Mark Williams going to join that casualty list? With his experience, obviously you fancy Williams, but you fancied Williams from the start, and you know, I'm sure some people thought it would be more one-sided. Sean O'Sullivan has played well. That's the bottom line, and uh, must be confident coming into this last frame. He's taken the red on, not got it. So first real good chance falls to Mark Williams. the dice there fair play but didn't get it so now he has to sit in that chair and hope that Mark Williams falters to middle just slightly overdid it maybe Sixteen. Seventeen. Thank you. Twenty. Well, again, it's going to come down to developing the reds. He got a couple of great splits earlier. Can he get one more golden one to open everything up? Looks good. Twenty-five. Black is still covered, which is no help to anybody. This was the split. They've opened up nicely. He's just got to 
control position here. This well. well, unless that red's got blocking the blue. He's still got bolt colours. A bit unlucky for that red to go there. He's got that sort of rueful look on his face. That was unlucky. He played the shot well, but the red is stopping the blue going in that middle pocket. So it's going to have to be one of these bolt colours. Looking at the uh, brown. Karen Wilson's won 4 1 against Dean Young. So Karen Wilson safely through to round two. Well, apologies, Green he was looking at. And this now is a seriously good chance to win the match. 29. 30. in uh, two minds here. Forty six. Well, he's not quite gone to plan, he's not on the blue, but he can continue. This, of course, he had a good lead in the last frame, but eventually lost it. He was 58 in front at one point. So yellow with the rest. And potted that very cleanly. Again, it's not Top finished eight. particularly good. Good pot, but that position has been surrendered slightly here. Eventually the break ends, he misses that red, so not over yet, 38 in front. Around 38. Now then, there's a big shot here for Sean O'Sullivan, this long red. <coughs> he takes it on, could be the route to winning this match, equally if he misses it. As Mark Williams missed that one, it could be the end. So <coughs> big shot coming up for Sean O'Sullivan. Play well in this match. Can he find a good one to get in in this deciding frame? Not quite. He played it very bravely, actually, to be on the black. But you see the disappointment as he walks away because this red, the bottom red, pots. Williams is already 38 in front. In fact, the other red pots, actually. So 38 in front. Very good White. chance to get it won. O'Sullivan went for it there, fair play to him, but he didn't get the pot. Eight. Yeah, sort of tried to float it in to be on the black, but the red stayed out. Nine. It's tough at this level for these players lower down the ranking. Sean O'Sullivan's played very well today, but it looks like, and he has to obviously stay focused here in case he gets a chance, but it looks like he's going to be defeated ultimately. It's in the hands of Mark Williams. Six. 
16. So that black puts him 62 in front with 59 on. Mark Williams 24. has, uh, well, quite literally weathered a storm. That's what they call Sean O'Sullivan. We heard the rain lashing down outside. 25. But in the end, experience is told here. And Williams has won an entertaining match. He's had to work for it. He's had to produce the goods, and that's what he's done to book his place in the last 64 of this WST Classic. He'll play either his protege, Jackson Page, or Anton Kazakov. Sean O'Sullivan will be disappointed to lose. He can be proud of his performance. He's played well, just came down to the odd Top shot here and there. No disgrace losing 4-3 to Mark Williams, though. So Mark Williams trailed 2 1, led 3 2, was forced into this deciding frame finish and has won it very impressively. Fifty-four. Fifty-six. Fifty-nine. As I say, turns forty-eight on the penultimate day of this tournament next Tuesday. But Mark Williams, I suppose you have to call him a veteran. Fifty-three. He's still playing snooker of the highest quality and still in these close matches coming out on top. 68. He's got an absolute iron temperament. Nothing seems to phase him. 74. Sean O'Sullivan went for the red, didn't get it. Mark Williams has stepped in and he's won with a 74 oh break four frame and the by four frames to three it was an entertaining match it was a high quality match Sean O'Sullivan certainly played his part but it is Mark Williams the winner by four frames to three we will take a 15 minute break Dominic will be back and a